Hey, what's up? This is Discover and MTG. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we got a little bit of mail time uh, just to go over real quick. Back in uh, 1994, they came out with a set called Revised. Now this set was to meet the high demand of all the cards that was printed in Alpha, Beta, and Unlimited. And if you couldn't have gotten your hands on that, printed a bunch of cards in this set so that those players can have, but uh, minus the uh, Power 9 cards. So they took out the Moxes, the Black Lotus, Ancestral Recall, and... Um, uh, what's the other one, man? It's uh, Ancestral Recall and Time... Time... Oh my god. The one with the skeletons. Anyways, I'll put it down below. I can't believe I'm having a brain fart. But, had a long day at work. Anyhow, uh, nonetheless, I digress. Here we go. We got ourselves, right here, eight dual land cards from Revised. And if you're wondering what's in this package right here, it's the other two of eight. So that now completes my set of revised dual lands. So we're just going to go through them real quick of what I have. Man, they're so shiny. We got ourselves a, a Badlands. We got a, a Bayou. We got a Plateau. A Scrubland. A Tropical Island. We got ourselves a Tundra. An Underground Sea and a volcanic island so that leaves us with two more left and they're in this package anyhow it's august and i have now completed the 10 dual lands this thing came all the way from canada so it took a minute for it to go through customs and we're, what we're going to do today is we're going to legit check it um i've got a jeweler's loop off off camera that i'm going to use uh to legit check the cards you guys don't know um, the card stock that Wizards of the Coast uses. Jeez, this packaging is insane. All right, look at that. Well, well I'll tell you, and they sure uh, probably laughing their ass off right now, just wondering how I'm opening this package. Anyhow, what a mess. I mean, you spend like five hundred dollars on on some cards, and you would figure, you know, that it would come with some sort of a elegance to it but nope yep, here I am struggling with this this thing um, all the way from Canada Postess uh, who has the mostess of proxies so I'm not too concerned I got it off eBay so there's a buyer protection and look at this package man it's packaged bubble wrapped I can feel some sort of some sort of soft wrapping in there then it's taped with duct tape. Then it's sealed with the freaking shipping. I mean, like, yes, okay, thank you for securing it. But, like, I've got to be able to open this thing, you know, to a point where where it's not going to get damaged. Um, yeah, that's frustrating. But y'all didn't come here to listen to me rant. It's a beautiful day regardless. I've got my... My dual lands, yep, some sort of soft tissue, no invoice in there. That's that, man. Here we go. All right, so he listed these as near mint. Um, we're gonna check that out. Uh, so I've got, as you can see, the Taiga. And then for those of you that know, the second card behind it's gonna be uh, Savannah, right? So let's try to use my fingernail because I don't wanna end up poking well, so I don't think I bent the cards but I have to be very careful to not slice the cards right or get any of this gunk on them so yay success we've got it out of the top loader that thing's garbage and then we've got our two dual lands Let, let's get these removed here out of its penny sleeve. And that feels okay. That cardstock on there. Feels kind of light. Oh, yeah, that, that feels super light. I don't know about that cardstock. Um, the ink on there is really light too as well. Let's go ahead and check 
this other one and then I'm gonna compare it uh, you know just to be on the safe side yeah this cardstock seems really thin um, could just be the old quality of the cards but I've got my jewelers loop here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this jewelers loop that I purchased now you can pick these jewelers loop up pretty much uh, like just go to Amazon it's got a little LED light here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick it up like so and then we're gonna look for that uh, that mark that the cardstock has let me see if I can get it here guys Place that up on the camera's eye. There you go, just bear with me. I almost got it. And place that card there closely. Now we're looking for, huh, interesting. So yeah, it's, it's got the marks. It's got the marks. We can also check the back side here. Uh, those of you that don't know, um, that green mana symbol has got a certain type of marking we're just gonna legit check this Savannah right here real quick there we go and it seems to be okay um yeah it's not like glossy or anything but let's go ahead and check this other one I might have to pull my other dual lands out of their sleeves just to because the feel it's been it's been a while you know since I've had some revised cards in you know uh, touch them with my own hands but uh, here we go let's check the Savannah we'll put it up to the camera lens here just bear with me here and we'll put the card up to it just like so yep it's got the markings okay and then let's check that green mana symbol. There you go. All right, so I think these cards are legit. Uh, maybe it's just my first impression of just having being kind of skeptical uh, them coming all the way from Canada and then uh, maybe the package kind of frustrating me. But uh, yeah. Um, these do look pretty minty. It's got a couple of nicks here on the corner. Um, as far as like surface wear, uh, the surface looks pretty nice on these. Very minimal play, if any. Um, probably was set in someone's binder at one point and then just, uh, you know, just offloading them. Um, yeah, very well taken care of. Look almost packed fresh. Uh, but obviously here you've got a little bit of edging, edge wear right there. Um, yeah, this one's kind of off-centered, just a little smidge to the to the right. But yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to get these graded. I'm just trying to complete a very nice uh, set of dual lands. Um, if you haven't noticed, I do play with my dual lands. I don't like playing with proxies. So since that's the case, I... I like to triple sleeve my cards. Let's go ahead and just sleeve these bad boys up. We'll turn these off and then we'll, we'll go ahead and check my other cards just to compare, you know? Um, actually, as a matter of fact, let's do that first. So let's pull out uh, this volcanic island here. So I've triple sleeved this one. Now these the, the types of sleeves I use right here is the perfect fit from uh, uh, Dragon Shield. Um, it's got that seal all the way around where you tuck that back end up behind it and it, the card is fully sealed around the edges. Um, in the past, they had sleeves like uh, the penny sleeves where like you had one opening and you would slide the card in or turn it upside down and slide the card up into it. But these ones, you slide into it, fold the back end back and it's got that perfect fit sleeve. Um, and these are supposed to be like a one and done type of thing. If you pull it out like this, you're gonna notice the crinkling right there. Uh, it's, I, I have in the past managed to pull them out without it crinkling, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling this right now. You know, you know the texture is kind of the same. Uh, this does feel pretty thin. 
but it just feels a little bit more sturdier in my opinion uh, compared to this. I don't want to go ahead and bend my cards. Um, there's a bend test you can do, but for the vintage age of these uh, reserve list dual lands, man, um, I'm not going to risk it. We already went and did the loop test, um, and it seems like, you know, it's, it's a go. Uh, so, so I got no complaints there, uh, just kind of skeptical from the get-go. Um, but that doesn't mean, you know, it, it, I have no reason not to be. So, you know, you spend that much money, uh, you always want to make sure that you legit check your products and uh, make sure you're receiving what you paid for, uh, what you had purchased from the get-go. So let's go ahead and put this card back, uh, triple sleeved, so that it doesn't get damaged. And one thing that I really like about triple sleeving cards is like, when you have a stack like this, and you're shuffling, there, some people wonder, you know, hey, it's harder to triple sleeve and shuffle, but, you know, since you have three layers of protection, it rounds out the edges. So what, what happens is, at this point, when you're shuffling, they're just sliding right into those pockets, those edges right there, those crevices um, of, you know, the, the, the ridges of the cards instead of like jamming into each other where uh, if you single sleeve they're, they're gonna be sharp and the edges catch each other and they're gonna jam but if you triple sleeve like this man like they're just gonna slide and glide uh, you just gotta have like a big enough hand or uh, experience enough to shuffle be able to shuffle when you've got a hundred card deck uh, that's triple sleeved or if you're playing some sort of legacy vintage um, type a format maybe 93 94 where dual lands are a must um, you know it's just the the land base that's just a must you know in, in those formats um, you know triple sleeve in your cards I've even seen where people play you know since people are playing with the power nine they, they have these like top loaders that they actually play with and they don't really like riffle shuffle they they um actually spread them out you know and and every opponent has that respect for their opponent's cards you know that they are worth something it's not only a player's market it's a collector's market as well and collectors love to play with uh, their collection so um, that respect goes both ways uh, to cut those decks in a manner where you know you're not destroying your opponent's collection um, I have seen some people like intentionally like shuffle aggressively, uh, you know, when when it comes to cutting their opponent's deck. But um, yeah, man, that's just a dick move. Don't don't be that guy. That that's not cool. But uh, yeah, if you guys like what I'm uh, producing on this channel, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I don't care if you guys subscribe or not. Uh, but if you do, the more the merrier. If we reach 50 or a certain number, um, I'll, I'll definitely do a giveaway. But if you're enjoying my collection and watching my collection grow, and um, you know the content that I'm pushing out for you guys, and the you know the few tips, my two cents, you know when it comes to collecting, um, then yeah, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Other than that, guys, uh, make sure you guys go get yourself a jeweler's loop if you plan to start investing in in cards uh reserve list cards or you know high-end uh you know vintage cards um and if you're buying those like near mint mint cards then then i highly advise going and spending like five six bucks for a jeweler's loop to at least make legit check your cards uh before you throw it into your collection and, and give positive feedback to you know that seller that you purchased from because you know there are some sellers out there that don't even know that they have a uh, fake cards you know there there are fakes and there's proxies flying out there so yeah just to be safe than sorry um go ahead and legit check your cards uh yeah and i have just completed the revised set of dual lands now let's go ahead and put these in order there you go taiga tropical island t u there you go right there and there you have it guys uh, we've got badlands Bayou, Plateau, Savannah that we just picked up, Scrubland, Taiga that we just added to our collection, Tropical Island, Tundra is one of my favorites, the Underground Sea, and the Volcanic Island. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Stay safe. Peace.